I'm back illiterate people to Wordle episode four. Today we start with my four letter words. How many times will you mess up the intro, Joe? Learn to count, Sleepy Joe. We are starting with 10 letters today. Once again, you are the most useless person on this channel. And to make things fair, we'll let the lucky wheel decide who starts first. It's me, me, it has to land on me or else this wheel is rigged. Not everything is about you, Trump the lump. My channel, my rules, subscribe. It's our channel, Donnie. And Joe, you get to start. I don't think I know any 10 letter words. The most I know is eight letters and that is ice cream. Absolutely, none of our viewers are surprised Biden, you're the reason we don't get much views. There's many 10 letter words, Joe. Appreciate friendship and strawberry are all 10 letter words. All right, cheers, Obama. I'll pick strawberry. They are yummy. These are just some examples, Joe. You've got to come up with your own 10 letter word. I'll help you, Joe. You can put in marijuana with an S on the end or sleeping with two extra G's. Thanks, Pumpy Trump. I actually got my 10 letter word. No problem. I'll type in sleeping GG with three G's on the end. I thought we played with proper dictionary words only and not made up words. I had to turn it off because I thought I didn't know any 10 letter words. Joe, you rigged old cheater, so this round your word is actually not a real word, huh? I promise you, Trump the dump, this is a proper word. Did you count properly? Of course I did. I even called Harvard meditation professors to check the word. It is a proper word. Meditation professors, Joe, you don't need meditation. You need rejuvenation. I'm going in with blackberry to make sure it ain't a fruit or vegetables. Good try, Barry Obama. I do love fruits and vegetables. Apples are the best fruit ever. Too healthy for this channel, Joe. Apples taste like sweet, crunchy poo. No one would prefer to eat an apple over McDonald's. You are very wrong, Donnie. Trump never ate an apple in his life. That's why his chest is fatter than his belly. McDonald and Wendy's are the healthiest food. Apples are for demented people. And with that said, I'm typing in marijuanas. It's what you snort to stay awake, Joe. We have seven yellow letters, but only one green letter. Joe, you are messing with this game, aren't you? I knew Joe was rigging the game from the start. This is some made-up word again, right, Joe? You will see, guys. It's not that hard. It's a real ten-letter word. Did you count properly? Did you check with the dictionary? Did you spell it correctly? Or did you rig this game? Guys, I did all of them. It's a proper word. So you did rig this game, you cheater? I didn't rig this game, how many times do I have to repeat myself? You just said yes to all of them. So clearly, you just said you cheated and rigged the game. I swear I didn't cheat. It's a proper word. How can you be old, wrinkly, illiterate, demented, and cheat at the same time? It's like a human malfunctional superpower. How many times do I have to tell you I didn't cheat this game? You intentionally rigged the game so you could get more turns, Joe. I'm getting mad now I didn't cheat. All right, folks, both shut up. We are here to be civil and play this game like a grown president adults. Joe started everything. How did I start when you accused and insulted me, huh? If you want to fight, let's fight. I punched your face after Wordle 2, remember? You want that again? And I kissed you belly and cheated with Melania. Boys, enough. It's like you guys are still in middle school. Let's just play the game and be strategic about it. It's your turn, Obama. We were waiting for you slow ass this whole time. True, I'm thinking of putting in government. It repeats some of the yellow letters, which might give us more clues. Thank you so, so much, Barack. I 100% got the word. This is super easy. It's start with G and end in ING. Don't come up with something stupid like you did in previous episodes, Trumpy Rumpy, saying stupid immature stuff like nuke, twerk, and even coming up with threesome for your word. Donnie, we have one turn left each. Do not mess this up. I got it 100%. It's super duper simple. Every time you say this, you come up with something stupid. I promise not. G and I and G G, the word is. Something stupid about to happen. Barack, I'm super smart. The word is gas bombing. See, I got four green letters. Oh, my freaking days. I thought you said you got the word. Donnie. So much smartness in your brain, Donnie. And two green letters came from Barack. Have you taken your demented pills, Joe? I got three green letters. Thank you very much. The first guess was mine. Holy shit, you really don't know how to count, do you, Joe? All right, I really have no clue for this word. I'm throwing in get a colon just to get all the letters. Stop, Barack. What now, Trump? Joe is trying to trick us with that word. That's it, Donnie. I had enough of your rig bombing, nuking in word nonsense. I'm not tricking you. It's actually a word. Barack, don't you dare press enter. The word is gelato king, I'm pretty sure. It's very Joe Biden. -y. Oh, true. Good point, Donnie. I'll type that in instead. Oh, shit, you're right, Donnie. Nice one. Joe, you rigged old man. That ain't even a word, dumbass. It's my turn for 11 letter word. It is a compound word, Donald. You need to learn your English literature, bro. You moron, that is two separate words. Know your English terms, crippling old demented Joe. All right, all right. 11 words and looking at Trumpety Dumpety, I'm gonna go with real estate. But just like Donnie and Joe, I'm slapping an S on the end. Barack, I can't believe you forgot about compound words and you are the highest scholar person in this room. Real estate is two separate words. I expected you to say something smarter. Like your word is actually a real word, Donnie. It actually is a real word, you nerd. Did Michelle steal all your intelligence? What happened to you today? That's because I'm versing old, demented, sleepy Joe and I can easily beat him without using brain cells. Hey, Barry Obama, I thought we always had each other's backs. 
I'm not letting that one slide. Barack, you came in a little harsh, but you did deliver the truth, though. Screw you guys. I don't know 11-letter words. Oh, actually, I'll go with Gelato King and smack an S on the end. What's with the both of you today with whacking S's, guys? Hurry up. I'm bored of waiting for you morons. Is this a real word, Donnie? Yes, Barack, and it has to do with someone in this room. All right, Donnie, I'm going to be strategic against you in this round. I'm going with vicariously. Barack, I think you forgot Donald doesn't have the brain cells nor the vocabulary to come up with such difficult words. All his words will be bomb nuke related and slapping an S on the end. Fuck you, Joe. You can't even count nor walk up a flight of stairs or even ride a bicycle without falling. You can't even live one day without cocaine or marijuana or else your crippling dementia will start kicking in. Donald, if my memory's so bad, remind me again who won the last election. I stumble but never have to hide in a bunker from my own people. Get roasted, Donald. Shut the fuck up, Barack, you third wheeler. You're too nerdy to even come up with a comeback. All you do is hush, hush, boys. Boys, be quiet like my university professor who looks like a geek and drives a Nissan Altima. If being educated and presidential makes me a nerd, I'll take it any day over being a Twitter troll. If we're using wordle rules, Donald, your presidency was a lot of gray tiles and very few yellows, let alone green. Barack, Joe, you guys teaming up now. That's cute. Reminds me of two kids trying to stand up to the schoolyard bully. And you're the bully that always get in trouble instead of detention room. You now live in the courtroom. With all that said, I'm putting in kindergarten. You guys do make a good team. Worst guesses after the other. And Sleepy Joe, kindergarten is spelt K-I-N-D-E-R-G-A-R-D-E-N, which is 12 letters, you illiterate and creepy fucking moron. Yeah, Joe, you actually cannot even spell simple English words. You know, Joe, have you taken your medication today? I have, Donnie. Thanks for reminding me. Wait, I think I got the word. I'm 99% sure it's this word. Donnie, it's a proper English word, correct? If you get this word, you obviously cheated Barack. And yes, unlike illiterate Joe, this is a proper American dictionary word. Okay, then the word is medications. Of course, you would always shit on Joe. Can you find someone else to bully instead of one of us in this room? We never had a single friendly wordle game yet. You are so fucking boring, Barack Obama. You literally ride a pig in Clash Royale, fall when playing only up, and speak like a robot when we play Five Nights at Freddy's, and now you're ruining my wordle game. I actually agree, Donnie. Let's team up and crack Barack's word together. I have made my 12-letter word. It's something viewers would love. Wait, give me a second, Barack. Joe, you are acting abnormal today. Did someone switch your coffee with decaf again? Are you feeling okay? Maybe we should get you a doctor? I'm just inspired by the unity of wordle. We're all just trying to find the right word, right? Especially against Barack. It's always the hardest person to face. Good point, Joe. All right, then. I'm chucking in selflessness that something Barack needs more, in my opinion. Wait, how did I only get one green? You fat-ass Donnie, that's because with a 12-letter word, you decided to use five letters. That wasn't smart of you, Donnie, but it's okay. I got your back. Never thought I'd see the day where Joe's got my back. Maybe next, Somalian pigs will fly. I'd pay good money to see those flying pigs, just like I'd pay to see you two actually getting along. See, Donnie, that's the ultimate business plan. Okay, enough said. I'm putting in my word. This is something Obama did to escape Kenya. Oh, my God, Joe, what is it now? The word I'm putting in is Obama. Swim USA. Ha ha, that sounds like a failed Olympic team sponsored by Obamacare. Failed Olympic team or not, I'd still lap you in any race, Donald. You literally will just sink to the bottom of the pool, and Joe, you would literally forget to, to breathe when you're underwater. I think because my overloaded IQ is stored in my belly. Anyways, what's the word Barack? It seems impossible to guess your nerdy word. Oh, so after you both insulted me, you think I would give you guys a hint? Go figure it out yourself. You got Joe with you. Yeah, it's okay, Donnie. We got this. Okay, then, Barack. You said it's a word that viewers would like. Then fuck you. I'm out of comebacks against your nerdy ass that swam to USA. I'll destroy you with Wordle. I'm putting in Michelle a ho. See, just like that, I scored two green letters. Good try, Donnie. Maybe next time you'll spell desperations correctly, which is also 12 letters, by the way. Give us a hint. Barry Obama, 12 letters is way too long. Even viewers struggle to come up with 12-letter words. All right, since you can't count, this word is a proper word, not a made-up word, and it's a reference word. What does reference mean? Explain it in simpler terms. Okay, Donnie, it's another word for Donald Trump. Haha, <laughs> everyone loves me. No wonder you said it's a word viewers will love. Sorry for the insults from before Barack. Okay, Doki, I got a word. I'm putting in a Trump fat boy. You're finally making sense again, Joe. Either you were acting to be genuinely trying to get on my good side or you've been hacked. My bet's on the latter. Hold up. Is this a parallel universe, Joe roasting you and you complimenting him? I don't even know what the fuck is going on. I'm confused as fuck right now. No need, Donnie. Take your guess. We need to figure Obama's word out. This is way too tricky. It's probably some PhD level shit word that Barack chose for us. Not at all. Remember, it's like an animal. Even a kid will understand. Okay, I'm putting tree kangaroo, you know, those ones in Australia that sleeps and hug a tree. I forgot what the animal is called, but it also looks like a kangaroo. Those animals are called koalas, Donald. Oh, I love koalas. They look so cute when they are hugging a tree when sleeping. So, Joe, when you're taking those midday naps in the oval, are you dreaming of being a koala? No shit, Sherlock. Why else would Joe love tree kangaroos that much? Fuck you, Donald.
I actually knew this word when we just started. I teamed up with you because you won't steal my ideas and I will end up winning this match. There is only one logical 12-letter animal word Obama will pick. Get it now, Donald. Congratulations, Joe. You've reached a new low. Teaming up with me and then this, even for you, it's shocking. You shouldn't have teamed up Donnie in the first place. And Joe, what's my word? I googled a 12-letter animal word and the first suggestion it popped up was hippopotamus. So the word is definitely hippopotamus, which represents how fat Trump is. And just like that, I won and I get to pick a word next. Fuck you, Joe and Barack. Rock. Fuck both of you today. This is like Congress politics in a wordle game. First I trust you, then comes the betrayal. I didn't betray any one of you, and in Joe's shoes, that's actually a brilliantly played move. He teamed up with you to not get insulted, and he got to win this game. Exactly, Donnie. What happened to all those business analysis you did? I thought you saw my move ages ago. Screw you, Joe and Barack. Next time Joe don't get to go first, next time we speed run and see who is the real wordle king. Subscribe. Subscribe.